You're YouTube, right? I'm Jerry. And I do not appreciate Scott Gimple ruining Morgan Jones's character. So, yeah, this is basically a part two to the video that I made about Carl Grimes, specifically how I thought killing Carl Grimes was the worst decision The Walking Dead ever made. Here we're going to be talking about Morgan Jones and what I think is probably the second worst decision that The Walking Dead has ever made, all thanks to our good friend Scott Gimple. So strap in, it's going to be a bumpy ride because today we're going to be talking about why I think putting Morgan Jones on Fear the Walking Dead and ruining his main storyline in The Walking Dead was the second worst decision that the show had ever made. If you want to know how I feel about Carl Grimes' exit to the show, you could watch this video here where I go in deep and get pretty emotional about it to be honest with you. But anyway, Morgan Jones is my favorite character on The Walking Dead ever. And it's not because he had the most exposure, because he honestly didn't, but it's because his story was so interesting. Losing his son, losing Rick because Rick went further out from the radio so he couldn't reach out to him, and just his descent to madness, his way back to sanity, and all of that, it is such a beautiful and rich story, unlike anything I've seen on TV. And it's amazing that one episode in season three could have immediately spin you in this world of what was Morgan Jones up to for those few seasons that we haven't seen him. Which, by the way, I actually think would make for a perfect spinoff for The Walking Dead instead of this bullcrap that they're doing already. Imagine if we followed Morgan Jones from the beginning of the outbreak to meeting Rick, to losing Dwayne, to going mentally insane, and everything in between all the way up to him meeting Rick back in Alexandria. That would be like the Better Call Saul of The Walking Dead spinoffs. But that's a video for another day. One day I do want to make a video about the spinoffs I actually want to see from The Walking Dead. But in here we're going to just talk about Morgan Jones because I love him and I think they just absolutely ruined him. So Lenny James was only in 36 episodes of The Walking Dead main series, which is not a lot when you look at other actors on the show. And that's especially daunting when you compare that to Seth Gilliam, who is Father Gabriel, who has 73 episodes and he's not even like my favorite favorite character even though he is a runner-up for one of my all-time favorite characters but it's just amazing to see how Lenny James was only in 36 and he captivated the show in such a way and his potential just really shined there was just so much to explore with Morgan because he was such an interesting character in his clear mode and even in his sane mode where all life was precious there was just so much beauty in everything he brought to the screen and that's really attributed to Lenny James because his performance was absolutely fantastic. And Lenny James portraying Morgan Jones just has so much potential, and this is something that Scott Gimple agreed with, actually. Knowing that Morgan had so much storyline to explore, Scott Gimple came up with the brilliant idea to make him the lead character of Fear the Walking Dead. No, 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 let's just forget all of his storyline in The Walking Dead and have him just literally run away to fear. Ah, no big deal. No big deal to the story. No one's, no one's gonna question it or anything. As a matter of fact, no one did question it. Which is the first thing that I'm going to rant about. How are you going to tell me that in a series where Morgan Jones was one of the most important characters of the show, how is it that no one is just like, hey, what happened to Morgan? Has anyone seen him lately? I don't know where he's been. No one on the main series asked a single thing about him. It's like after episode 16 of season eight, he was just completely forgotten by the whole rest of the survivors. It blows my mind. How do they not write anything? Nothing, not even one single line of dialogue. And trust me, I have kept score. Not a single line of dialogue was mentioned about Morgan Jones again after he left the main series. That is just horrible writing. And in the video where I ranted about Carl's death, I said that season eight actually had good writing because I genuinely do think they did, even though they made two horrible decisions, Carl and Morgan, I think the writing was pretty good. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to shit on season eight because that wasn't season eight's problem. It was season nine, season 10 and season 11's problem. Not once in that whole span of time did anyone mention a single word about 
someone who was an integral asset to their community at all. He just disappeared. Same with Jadis, but that's a whole other topic for another video. The main contention point I have is when your main character, who literally started out the show, isn't mentioned once. And that's alongside Rick leaving. That's alongside Carl leaving at the time. That's also alongside Maggie leaving. Half of the main crew was gone, yet you don't have a single person being like, hey, I don't know where everyone went. By the way, where's Morgan? Where'd he go? No one. That is just, again, that is terrible writing. I don't care what you say. I don't care what argument you try to make. There is no excuse that makes that okay. Just none. And the other thing that I'm mad about in this whole thing is that unlike Carl's death, where that was just a straight up misdirection and a complete deviation from the comics that was bad, Morgan's story arc was an amazing deviation from the comics because in the comics, Morgan does not have that big of a story. Yeah, he's there in the beginning. Yeah, he's there in Alexandria, but shortly after he just dies randomly and it's like no one even knows about it. So seeing him actually have more of an important story in the main series is fantastic. Like clear did not happen the way it did in the comics in the show. All life is precious. Morgan did not happen in the comics. It happened in the show. And and then re-clear Morgan in season eight also didn't happen in the comics. That was all brand new storytelling and it was so good. And yes, I completely understand that from a story perspective, Morgan's story on the main series was really pretty much done. You saw him in every light. You saw him go through insane character development in the 36 episode run that he was in. But there's just more that they could have done or they could have ended all out war in a slightly different way that I'm going to talk about in this video that would have just made his story complete instead of ruining it on fear. Now, really quickly, back to the original point I was making, Carl getting killed in the TV show was a horrible deviation from the comics. It was just a poor adaptation. However, sometimes deviations from the comics are a good thing. One of the most prime examples of that is Terminus in the show. In the television series terminus is really the central point of the back end of season four all of season five and the entire rest of the show if you think about it them going on those train tracks taking forever to get to terminus then all linking up there and realizing it was a group of cannibals turned what was a really small storyline in the comics which was the hunters into one of the most earth shattering moments for all the characters because it's where they learned not to trust anyone i mean they already kind of knew that but when they got to terminus and saw that it was not a sanctuary and it it just it was bad overall it really changed everyone to be like we're not fucking around anymore and that impacted the whole show and that is a perfect example of deviating from the comics and turning something small into something large because that's what they did the hunters in the comics were only in a couple pieces of paper really if you think about it but in the show they were a pretty big part even though terminus itself was only in the show for what one and a half episodes that is a prime example of good storytelling deviating from the comics. That's that's how you do it. And I do commend Scott Gimple for that because that was something he did. Not everything Scott Gimple did is bad, but some of the big decisions he made that are really bad are really bad and make some of those good moments look just minuscule in comparison. And like for that reason, I, I don't necessarily think anything they did with Morgan in the main series is bad up until his exit to the show because everything prior to that was honestly really good. My real problem lies with the way they wrote him out, the way they ruined him in Fear the Walking Dead, to be completely honest with you, and everything else. Even on The Walking Dead, his last episode, I didn't mind. I didn't mind that he was going to spend time alone and it didn't really take away from anything in the show it didn't make it feel like a grand moment it felt like he was just going to get some headspace which was good that was honestly a fair write out to him but it's not the choice that I would have went down obviously the choice that I inevitably would have loved to have seen is something that they wouldn't do because they already put him on fear but in a perfect world what I would have really liked to have seen was Morgan essentially take Carl's death and that be the driving force behind putting Negan in prison. Because if you think about it, Morgan was all about peace. 
He was the one who built the prison in Alexandria in the first place. It would have served the story so damn well if Morgan Jones took Carl's death and Morgan was the reason that Rick was inspired to demonstrate peace with Negan. Now, that being said, in the same vein, I kind of don't think I'd be satisfied with that fully either because I didn't think his story would have been the best executed ending there. That being said, I do think his story was complete, but I still think I would have been a little disappointed. That being said, I actually think from a story perspective, it would have been the perfect death and the perfect writing for a character like Morgan Jones. And again, against my point, there's a lot of potential for Morgan. This is something Scott Gimple saw and other people saw. So they were like, oh, let's put him on Fear the Walking Dead. No big deal. He's just going to steal the show in Fear the Walking Dead. And look what happened to that. And the sad thing is, it's not that Lenny James ruined Fear the Walking Dead at all. Lenny James is still a masterful actor. He is still a great asset to Fear the Walking Dead, don't get me wrong, but the writers just destroyed any future of people like me who are fans of the comics and all of that of the canon Walking Dead from actually enjoying the show. Now that being said, season six of Fear the Walking Dead was really good. I was actually just re-watching the first episode today, getting ready to make this video, and I actually really loved that episode in particular. But the problem is, all other, what, 40 episodes that he's been in of that show since are just, oh my god, they're not good. Yeah, there's a couple, sure, there's a couple in every show that are good that stand out from the rest, but the writing is so unbearably inconsistent in Fear the Walking Dead that it just ruins such a good character in Fear the Walking Dead. It, it's just, it really is sad. That being said, though, I'm still glad that they at least kept Morgan Jones around for something. He deserves to be around. It's just a shame we didn't get to see more. We haven't got to hear any news of him potentially reuniting with Rick, going back to Alexandria, which honestly I think would be a great storyline for season eight of Fear the Walking Dead. But just overall, we're not hearing much, and Fear the Walking Dead is panning out to just not go anywhere. It's kind of like a musty fart. Like, it just doesn't, it doesn't do anything. It's just there and it sucks. You know what I mean? I, I tried to make that a little funny, but that was just terrible. Overall, the point I'm making is Fear the Walking Dead had so much potential, so that's one layer. And Morgan Jones had so much potential, so that's another layer. But they, they aren't, they aren't communicating. Fear the Walking Dead is not going anywhere. The storyline is terrible. Season 7 was just a dumpster fire, just like the rest of the show other than Season 6. Morgan Jones is unfortunately following that dumpster fire, which sucks because that is not Morgan Jones, even though Season 6, again, it was good. But just overall, it's such a waste to see what they did to him, to the show, and overall everything, not to mention to bring this full circle in Seasons 9, 10, and 11 of The Walking Dead, his name is not mentioned once like what a way to just get a character out of your show that's honestly I think that's disrespectful if I was Lenny James I'd be pissed not necessarily from an ego standpoint of Lenny James but more or less a standpoint of Morgan's character I would be mad I would have said something if I was him I, I just would have I would have went up to someone and been like this is ridiculous but that's just me that's my jersey ass talking you know just freaking out but the point I'm making overall is I think it's absolutely abysmal that after he leaves the show and quite literally runs away to Texas, no one ever mentions him. What? And that's a weak point I see in the writing for not only Morgan Jones, I saw that for Carl after his exit, I saw that especially for Jadis, Negan, um, who were the other people that saw the helicopter? It was Negan, Father G, and I think someone else, none of them ever mentioned that. Oh, hey, I saw a helicopter. I wonder what happened there. Like, how, how do you... Seriously, I think you and I could both come up with a better way to write those moments into the story. Just to write them in at all. Like, <laughs> at all. And that's the problem I have. They weren't written in at all. They just... 
Mm, this is me actually getting pissed because this is one of those moments just along with Carl's death that I think really killed the spirit of the Walking Dead family. Like it killed that spirit. Carl was a Grimes and losing him and losing Rick, you immediately lost the show in my opinion. Yes, they tried to say it was an ensemble, but no, it's the Grimes story. It always was the Grimes story. You can't change that narrative. That was just a horrible decision. So that already killed the spirit of the Walking Dead. But then also losing Morgan at the same time who was another spirit of the walking dead and never ever saying his name again that's just stupid it's just downright stupid there's a lot of other stupid things that have happened in the show like in season nine you're telling me that he sees Sasha instead of someone like Glenn someone like I don't know Carl but that's that I'm going off on a tangent that's a topic for another video the overall point I wanted to make is Morgan's exit to the walking dead could have been handled so much better. There was so much potential there. Instead, they put him on Fear the Walking Dead and wasted his potential. Hence the title and the thumbnail, Morgan Jones Wasted Potential, because unfortunately it is. I love Lenny James. I think he's a fantastic actor, and it really is a shame to see what they've done. By the way, because this is just in my head at the moment, if you've never seen the clear deleted scene with Morgan Jones where he's talking and he's talking about how he has to clear, this conversation takes place right after he's saying to Rick and your boy, is he dead? It is a man. You know what? I'm actually just going to play it right now because it's that good. I realized I am here to clear, to kill walkers, to kill people, to kill anything that comes anywhere near me. See, I found out that I am the constant. Everybody changes and I don't. After all of this, after all of it, I don't. I clear. Someone with that form of acting caliber deserves more than what he got. And he got enough getting a, to be like the head of another show, Fear the Walking Dead. That's an honor in and of itself, but it's fully wasted because the show just fucking sucks. And really with all that out of the way, I think my heart rate is up about 30 beats per minute because I'm fuming right now over this. So I'm gonna go calm down. I'm gonna go eat a bowl of cereal and smile a little bit and maybe not think about the worst decisions The Walking Dead had ever made but i hope in the meantime of that i hope you liked this video i really want to say thank you guys so much i'm getting a lot of love on the carl video i spoke that from the heart i'm speaking this from the heart as well and that's my goal with this channel is to just speak how i feel about moments in tv from the heart because these are shows i love and yeah it's not productive to just be sitting around watching tv all day i get it but when i'm attached to a show i really care about it i care about better call saul the breaking bad universe I care about The Walking Dead, I care about a lot of stuff. And just to see these bad decisions as a devoted fan, it just really bothers me. And someone needs to talk about it because I feel like no one has. So yeah, that's all I really wanted to talk about in this video. Again, if you liked it, make sure you like it. If you didn't like it, love to see you dislike this video, even though you can't see the metrics on that. <laughs> um, yeah, let's start another conversation in the comments. Really want to hear your guys' input about Morgan Jones. I love Lenny James, if by chance, which you're definitely not, but if you are watching this, I love you. You're definitely not watching this, though. I'm, I'm way too small of a channel. But that being said, with all of that out of the way, thank you again so much. And until the next one, I'll talk to you later. Peace out.